Hello, friends, we're back. <laughs> and my experiment failed, by the way. If you're watching this on Tuesday evening, I uploaded a daily recap video on YouTube, and I was unsure if I should post it or not because I thought to myself, well, maybe it won't get that many views because of the holiday. But there was another voice in my head that said maybe more people might watch it than average because they don't have to wake up early on Wednesday morning. It's a holiday, and they also have all the time in the world on Wednesday to watch, you know, while they're driving somewhere. Who knows? But my experiment failed. It was viewed by not as many people as watch an average video. But if you didn't see it, I highly recommend you go back in the related videos and watch. I'm holding a glass filled with goodness. I drank a large glass of Coke Zero Sugar. I'm not getting paid to say that, but I was on a Coke high and it was so much fun. I also had the best time on the 4th of July. I got to sleep in, and the new thing I'm doing is only getting eight hours and 15 minutes of sleep, not allowing myself to get more on the weekends because I want to spend as much time with my kids as possible. So anywho, I got my sleep. I worked, I uploaded a video on here anyways. Uh, Kaylee Shore performing Awake. If you haven't seen that, check it out as well. I also uploaded a video on my family channel, Maite crawling ah, and crawling a lot. And then after I got done with work, I took the family to San Pedro, which I think is how the locals call it. Some people might also call it San Pedro. Or Latinos might call it San Pedro. It's kind of like Los Feliz in Los Angeles. It's really Los Feliz, but Americans call it Los Feliz. Anywho, it actually was serendipitous that I ended up there because I had told my sister, who is my assistant, to buy me tickets for an earlier cruise out of Long Beach, but she mistakenly bought me tickets from San Pedro and I don't think I would have ever gone had it not been for that. And it was awesome. They had this fish market and my mom was in heaven. She wanted to eat but decided not to because she wanted to come back on a separate trip and come back earlier when she had not already eaten to like devour seafood. Like we saw these huge trays of shrimp passing us by. It was amazing. We got on this cruise that was a 45 minute harbor whale watching, uh, sea lion spotting, dolphin thing. We only saw sea lions, nothing else. But it was really just nice to be on a boat and it was prompted by me listening to my son and he not that long ago told me that he wanted to go on a boat. So I'm like, boat, it was super fun. And we also went to visit the Korean Friendship Bell, which is also in San Pedro too. And that was beautiful. This, you know, tourist destination basically. And, and a sign of love and, uh, and mutual admiration from South Korea to us. And it's in the top of this hill and overlooking the ocean and it's just, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I came home and I got caught up on work again. I work even on holidays, but I was able to play with my kids some and read them their book and put them to bed and just get another eight hours of sleep. And I'm so happy. I don't need a large glass of Coke Zero Sugar right now. Although I did have my coffee in the morning before the gym because I want to have a great workout and I did. I used to take pre-workouts, but thankfully I don't do that anymore. Anyways, I don't normally give you this much preamble. I don't even know why I did today, but hey, <laughs> let's get right to it. After four minutes of not getting right to it, maybe you fast forwarded, uh, or maybe you liked that. I don't know. I just felt like sharing some extra stuff. Is there anything else on my brain? Since I'm sharing, I'm going to film something in a little bit for Australian television. So I'm stoked about that because A, I love Australia. B, I'd love to do more in Australia. And C, it pays. Yes. All right. And this weekend is going to be fun. I don't know. My brain is all over the place. It's in the yesterday, in the now, and then the tomorrow. Uh, I'm getting a facial tomorrow. And then Saturday, I'm going to a kid's birthday party with my kids. And then Sunday, I'm going for a pool day at my sister's. So it's going to be great. I hope your holiday was wonderful. And I hope your weekend is going to be wonderful too. 
So, if you missed my video with the large Coke Zero Sugar, I talked about Halsey and GEZ split. Well, I've got new information. I also mentioned how she had been hanging out with Machine Gun Kelly. Insiders want us to believe that they're just friends. However, uh, it definitely seems like GEZ was cheating on Halsey. I mean, there were these text mess these direct messages that were unearthed of him straight up trying to get with another girl on Snapchat that were screen grabbed and shared. That happened last year though, but after he had already begun his relationship with Halsey, well now Halsey posted something on Twitter which has a lot of people thinking she was talking about g -Eazy. She sent out a tweet that said, Pumpkin Eater. Pumpkin Eater. Do you guys remember that? It's from an old nursery rhyme that starts off, Cheater, Cheater. Pumpkin Eater. Does it surprise you that g -Eazy cheated? Not me. It's a lot of couples news today, actually, in more couples news, and this is no surprise either. According to reports, Ariana Grande's mother and brother are, quote, terrified of her engagement to Pete Davidson, the comedian and Saturday Night Live star. An insider says they are super worried about Ariana and that she's going to be hurt. Amongst the issues, Frankie Grande is a year sober now, and he doesn't like the fact that Pete smokes marijuana and drinks alcohol, even though he's allegedly sober, but he isn't that sober. <laughs> Wait, maybe he doesn't drink alcohol. I think he only smokes weed. So that's sober-ish. Uh, they also think that Pete Davidson is using Ariana for fame. That would make sense, too. I mean, she is really famous. And it's just difficult. Because if you're Frankie and you're Joan Grande, you might be concerned with being too honest with Ariana. I complained to my mom and my family channel that she was being too negative to me the other day. But listen, I like that my mom is honest with me. I want her that way. I want her to stay that way. But don't just tell me negative things. Tell me the negative and also say, you know, at least how you communicate is important, okay? You can tell me the negative things, but at least frame it smartly. Like, Ari, I know you have a big heart, and I know you're so trusting. Like, start off with positives, then hit them with the negative, okay? That's how you handle people. If you just say, he's awful, he's using her, it's not going to work out, then she's not even going to listen. You've got to play the ears and the brain like it's an instrument. You want it to sound mellifluous, not Okay, you know what I mean? I think you get me. All right, in more couples news, want to know how Ronnie from Jersey Shore celebrated the 4th of July with his abusive baby mama. These two are like a bad drug habit. They just can't quit each other. They should, right? But they can't. Another pair that just can't quit each other are Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. In a new interview, Will Smith, Smith says that he considers Jada to be his life partner and that they aren't even married anymore and that nothing will break them apart. They will never split. Did he just curse his marriage? You know, when you use that N-word, the other one. <laughs> never say never. Oops, I just said it twice. Anyways, in more couples news, David and Victoria Beckham are celebrating their 
16th wedding anniversary and even more years together. Amidst all of the speculation of his cheating and blah, 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 they just went out for a romantic lunch for their wedding anniversary and they are putting a strong united front up. Also, Selena Gomez has been spending a lot of time with her former Wizards of Waverly Place co-star David Henry recently. Now, I know he's married, and I know his wife is there. Is that odd, though? Like, are they secretly dating? I don't know. It's just it's a little bizarre to me how much time they've been spending from Italy to Disneyland. They were at Disneyland together for the 4th of July Anyways, maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I'm being like a conspiracy theorist. I got a segue onto some really just awful news. According to the government of Thailand, 49 tourists are missing after a boat capsized in Thailand after uh, rough waters. Also, I read this just heartbreaking as well article about these three adventurers, uh, explorers, travel bloggers that died near a waterfall in Canada. And I also read about this Indian actress that was diagnosed with terminal, not terminal, uh, cancer that has metastasized and just Life is precious. This moment right now is precious and I thank you for sharing it with me. It really means so much that you get something out of me. And I put a lot out of energy into the universe and it's draining. But I appreciate you and you keep me doing this. So thank you. All right. Let's end things with something wacky because I don't want to end on a downer. James Woods, the actor, was fired by his agent on the 4th of July with a fabulous email saying, feeling patriotic, I don't want to represent you anymore. Now, do I think his agent should have fired him? Here's my take on it. If it were somebody like Patricia Heaton, who is, according to what I've read, a conservative, or even Tim Allen, you know, it's okay to espouse your views, but James Woods is a troll, a conspiracy theorist, awful, and just a hardcore Trumper and alt writer. So I think it's totally a thousand percent okay for this guy to be like, you know what? Bye. You don't allow align with our core values as a company. Simple, right? I mean, if it would have happened to anybody who just a regular Trump supporter, I don't think that would have been cool, but James Woods is anything but a regular Trump supporter. He is dangerous. <laughs> Anyways, friends, I love you. I thank you. You're amazing. You know the drill. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Instagram, everywhere. Follow my, life, my family channel. Follow here. Hit the subscribe button. I post videos every day. I'm a hard worker. And that's what you got to do if you want to be very successful in life. Mwah.